Hello! How's it going, everybody? Hmm. I'm doing pretty all right. Hold on. Give me one sec. Ah, <sighs> okay. You can hear. You can hear me. I'm sure. Uh, there we go. Sorry. Hey, Barodi. Oh, hello. How's it going, Odachi? Um. All right. So, um, <laughs> chat. He's gone. Um, so tonight, we need a little bit of redemption, um, because I wanted to show us something preemptively. Um, so we're gonna do that right now. Um, <laughs> thanks, Odachi. All right, so the last time we talked, oh, here in the beautiful Eternal Forest once again. Last we talked, we were here in the old chateau, and I was getting all excited, and I was just like, guys, we're gonna go get Rotom, it's gonna be so cool, and it's gonna be really hype because. In Diamond and Pearl, you couldn't get them until the post game, but in Platinum, you can get them here right after the second gym. But silly old me forgot that it needed to be nighttime. So here we are at actual nighttime, <laughs> and now we are going to catch Rotom. Ooh. All right. So again. We have this spooky TV here. And let's walk up to it. it. Has an oddly malevolent feel as if it is staring. Are you kidding me? What do I need? <laughs> Does it have to be at like a certain time? All right, I am Googling this now. Um, I feel like there is some... Between the hours of 8 p.m. and 4 a.m., guys, this is officially stupid. <laughs> I thought Pokemon games... I thought it was officially nighttime at, like, 6... And now it's 8 p.m. all of a sudden. I guess I'm on Gen 2 time. Ugh. All right, I guess we'll do this at the end of the episode. My lord. Yeah. That's silly. That is silly. Welp. Our Rotom Redemption will have to wait. But that's okay. I'll make this episode just a little bit longer... <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Rotom really is legendary, according to what's been happening this episode. My lord almighty, I tell ya. Alright. So no matter what we do, I gotta come back to Eterna Forest. Um, alright. That's okay, though. We still have plenty of stuff we can do. How's everybody doing, by the way? I'm doing pretty well. Um, all these unnecessary steps is making breakfast's friendship go to the sky. Um, okay. So, good, good to hear it. So we're gonna hop in here, and there is an app for our Poketch down below that this woman can give us. She says, we're a cute little trainer, and this little friendship checker, it is going to say how much Pokemon like us. As you can see, they're kind of all floating around weirdly. Um, and if you click on one, like, I'll click on Ghastly. Nothing is above his head. But let me click on uh, Grodel. As you can see, there's a little tiny heart above Grodel's head. So, the friendship checker lets us check our friendship. And Grodel's is higher than Ghastly's, which makes sense. He's our starter. But... We want to have like two big hearts go over their head, and that is when we know it'll be about time for our friend Togepi to evolve. All right, excuse me. <laughs> the Green Hill Zone of Pokemon. Um, so thank you to this lady. 
for giving us that application. I just like to have the team set up down below. That makes me happy. Um, I will definitely check Togepi's uh, friendship throughout the playthrough here. We still have a couple of trainers here on Cycling Road that we can cycle through. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a pretty good day today. Um, oh, hello, Loctess, hello. Um, it was actually a pretty chill day at school, more so than usual. Uh, which I appreciated greatly. Um, there we go. Um, and we'll get Togepi a level or two here, just by switch training it. I mean, probably get more than more than two levels. Um, might get it up to level five or so. Um, but yeah, it was a solid day. I'm still not feeling my best. Um, but. Uh, I was excited for tonight, and it'll be good, because I I won't be able to stream for a little while, um, about a week or so. Um, I will be back to you as soon as I possibly can be, but um, we have a lot of stuff going on this week. Um, Alright, so breakfast is going to get 102. It's going to grow more than one level, I'm sure. There we go. I was about to say, it'd be at least level five. Okay, good. Level five, easy peasy. Um, I liked that, we'll do that again. Ooh, I will feed it some berries. Guys, I cannot believe Nighttime in this game starts at 8 o'clock. I mean, honestly, I was thinking Generation 2 because in Generation 2, once it turns 6 o'clock, you get the nighttime filter. Um, and that is what I was thinking of. I didn't realize it was a very specific hour setting. Um, um, oh, yeah, that is also true. Ah, oh, friendship can be so complicated. Um, let's get breakfast one more level. They're just three Starlies. We're not going crazy here. Make sure we get it, uh, get it off the couch there, off of alpha level one. Um, a lot of these trainers here, I think, have Starlies and Staravias. I'm also not really sure what um, we're gonna get into next week, because I was maybe planning on starting the new series, but um, with it being such a weird week, I might just um, I might just stick to platinum. I'm not sure. I like these little tubes here on Cycling Road. As you can see, there's a big route below us. You have that nice like mist below. It's a nice little effect. Um, I really like the look of the Sinnoh games. Um, and Platinum is the way to play Generation 4 as far as I'm concerned. Um, oh, do I play Pokemon Sleep? I actually don't. I have thought about it. I probably should, to be honest. Um, I'm not even going to mess with that. Let's just get Skitter in here. There we go. Um, I hear it's delightful, Pokemon Sleep. Um, Oh, hello, Cry! Ha ha ha! Um, oh yes, of course, the journey has been good so far. Thanks for popping in. Um, I have been completely boofing it on this cool little thing that you can do right after the second gym. Um, but other than that, <laughs> it's going pretty well. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do with Gilbert here. I might have to immediately swap. Um, let's get that Rock Smash going. Because I don't want to get caught, yeah, in a rollout. Alright, that works. Get us defense lowered so Skitter can come in here and hopefully one shot. Maybe... There we go. <laughs> yeah. It was incredible. And hey, I did it again tonight. Because I thought 7 o'clock, easy. That's nighttime, right? 
Apparently, it doesn't count as nighttime until it's 8 p.m. for whatever reason. Ah, oh, going through the little tube. Wee. Okay. Um, autumn's to 21. We'll let breakfast get another level or two. Just some nice switch training. You can get some friendship literally just by leveling up, I'm learning. Um, I have a few little things going on here. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, and when your happiness is low, like ours is, leveling up the Pokemon will increase its happiness by a lot. Um, ooh, we're gonna get you out of there. Excuse me, now, though. Perfect. Gotta make sure I don't get a pursuit, because I will lose some happiness if I faint. So really, Togepi can never faint. Um, and I always love using Pokemon that need friendship in these runs, um, because you have to have this extra little challenge of having them on the field for a gym leader battle, but not using them really, or definitely not letting them faint. Ah, yes, if we find any vitamins, I will make sure I give one to Togepi as well. Oh, I wish we had the Haircut Brothers in Goldenrod City in this game. That would be incredible. Alright, let's see. Also, I should be looking at some levels for Togepi and its evolutions to make sure I don't, like, mess up the move set by evolving it at a certain time or before a certain level or whatnot. Um, oh, hello, Mom! Um, ah, uh, yes. You know, I was just, literally just talking about that before I read your comment, sorry. Um, yeah. In this game, I don't remember what the move relearner wants. Do they still want heart scales, like, uh, is tradition? Um, here we'll go into inclusion. Yeah, I don't really have a water Pokemon anymore. I probably should grab one. Save those heart scales. All right. Um, so I will make sure I do so. Um, yeah, inclusion's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, we good. Flame wheel's not amazing, but we do get that intimidate off. Perfect. Um, all right. Shinx. We'll just go straight into Autumn here. Um, you are so right. It does really make it feel like a real creature. Um, like, ugh. Gen 2, baby. Gen 2. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know they have the capability. It's the same gen. I can't wait to play Heart Gold or Soul Silver. But, I mean, who are we kidding? We're gonna play Soul Silver. Um, but, um,. Yeah, that'll be great. I don't know when we're gonna do that, though. We're gonna get into some uh, fun and unexpected things when we finish Platinum. Um, there we go. Cyclist Rachel was defeated. And I'll just kinda let myself drift off a couple of times just to give Togepi a few more steps. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Oh, this is really disorienting and really hard to focus on. <laughs> this is probably a bad idea. Oh, there we go. Alright, so Togepi learned some good stuff. Okay, it looks like Togepi doesn't really learn anything that Togetic doesn't, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I can teach Magical Leaf. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. But yeah, Mom, you were talking about Air Slash. Is there anything else that I gotta do? Ah, okay. So, it turns out uh, Togekiss doesn't learn any moves by level up. But it does have access to amazing moves. The four moves that Togekiss can learn... You need a heart scale for it, but it learns Sky Attack, Extreme Speed, Aura Sphere, and Air Slash. 
We have not had to deal with Aurasphere yet in any of our playthroughs. It's a new move for Generation 4. It's real good. So we're gonna we're gonna really need to be saving those heart scales and finding those heart scales. I do like how there's not really much pressure to like evolve our Togepi quickly or anything. All right, I can stop doing that. Let's heal the squad. Do 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 do. do. Let's see. Um, hmm. That will be all right. I don't have any vitamins, do I? Ooh, I do have a rare candy. I don't know if that counts. Um, let's see. Well, let's see if anything has changed. Has anything changed with Togepi? Probably not. Oh, hey, we do have one little heart. Oh, that's really good. I love that. Um, I was really expecting nothing. That is lovely. All right. So knowing that, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna worry too much about leveling up Togepi too much. Um, it's actually really nice. Oh, we only had one more battle. I could have just stuck it out. Hooray, Togepi. And who knows, maybe uh, breakfast can be useful here in a sec. Wonderful. Yeah, we probably won't get too terribly far. Wow, I am really paralyzed a lot, huh? There we go. We won't get too far, too terribly far from the old chateau tonight. Um, so we can go back and get Rotom. I can't, I still can't believe it. Ah, sweet kiss, lovely. Not lovely kiss. I just say lovely all the time. All right. Hop off this bike. Ooh, we are gonna see our friend Dawn here in a second. Ooh, wow, the screen got real pixely there for a sec. What, you see that? Kind of like the white speckles everywhere. Interesting. Um, all right. So, we can cut to go into that area beneath Cycling Road. Excuse me. We're gonna go here first. Um, let's see, where is she? Oh, I really thought she showed up right there. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah! Oh, sure! I'll water the Orenberry. Ah! Oh, you can shuffle with this watering can. I did not know that in this game. How about that? That's cool. Um, so now, check this out. This little landslide here that leads to Orberg City. We can go right up it now. But if we change our gear to our bike, we can't go up it. You have to be in the high gear to be able to get up that. So again, yeah, a lot like mock bike, acro bike type action. This place looks familiar. Let's heal this paralysis off of old Autumn. Perfection. Oh, I love Platinum, guys. This is delightful. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I say that all the diggity gosh, gosh darn time. Um, all right, let's do this double battle first. Um, yes, we'll do breakfast and skitter. All right. Um, you know, I always try to be inclusive for people who have never played this game before. And I, and I like to talk about it as if, you know, the audience has never played before. Because I, like I like to describe it. I like to uh, introduce things to people. 
But uh, I know many of you have. Oh, look, a random trainer with a starter. That is definitely way more prevalent in this game. Um, let's see here. Let's just get Gilbert in. Um, but in your opinion, chat, um, what is the best evolution that they added in the Gen 4 games? Because I don't really like very many of them. So what's the best one to you? There we go, baby. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts Gilbert. Um, let's try to roll out. Oh, nope, you're just gonna die immediately. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Gosh darn it, man. All right. Um, we will get Gas Man in here for the time being. I'm just going to make sure that the Chimchar dies. Oh, that is fine, Pachirisu. There we go. I'm glad we double attacked it. I knew it had like one HP left. Um, ah, Swift. Lovely. Um, I'll get rid of Bide. It was really helpful earlier, but I just don't really like it. And Skitter's not too tanky, so it's not going to be able to take too much advantage of that. Um, ah, there's a Swift right now. Boom. Oh, that did just nothing. Just nothing. Um, my goodness. I cannot believe how little that does. All right. Aren't messing around anymore. Ugh. Finally, okay. Gonna have to heal the whole squad here. Uh, we should be good here, because this hiker bound to have rock types or machops and staravia and Grodel can take care of those. There we go. It'll be good to get to the point where we can use breakfast. And it's still going to get these EVs from these Pokemon that it sees. At least that's how Gen 3 worked. Ah, Rock Polish! This is a new move we did, we haven't seen before. Um, it is just a rock move that lets a rock Pokemon speed raids sharply. And as you can see, the Geodude now outspeeds our Grodel. Um, and you know, rock Pokemon are often slow, so having a move that specifically raises their speed is really good. A really nice balance and move. There we go. All right, a nose pass. We're gonna swap this in again. Do, 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 do. Again, we do have the um, the experience share that we could put on breakfast, um, but I'm not too stoked to use that um, because I wanna have that soothe bell on there. So it's really getting more friendship as we walk. Getting that Soothe Bell early from Cheryl is a, is a really nice gift in this game. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can get a crit. Oh, no. Didn't even need one. I thought for sure that Harden would matter. Perfection. Ooh, Bite. That's a great coverage move for Grodel, and we can finally get rid of stupid, dumb Tackle. Um... Ah, oh, okay. Um, the evolution's probably the fave for the ones that existed is probably Glaceon. Okay, okay. I could definitely feel that. I like I like both of the new evolutions a lot. Um, let's see. All right, so there's the en entrance to where we need to go next. Um, excuse me. You can see some more trainers. I'll get uh, Togepi some more levels here, but first we're going to heal up a little bit. Um... 
And uh, being able to just pop back into Orberg is so great uh, once you get to this point, like through Cycling Road and trying to get through those strainers. It's really nice. Um, my fa Oh, Gallade. Gallade is probably my favorite one. Um, I'm also a big fan of Gliscor. That's pretty... Um, pretty common for people. Um, we're gonna pop a save. I'm saving a little bit. Um, really? I really hate, and I mean really hate, the evolution that they gave Rhydon. That is one of my least favorite Pokemon of all time, actually. Um, and you'll see. You'll see it eventually. It's just so ugly. It's just ugly, you know? And I know we're all beautiful in our own way, but this, uh, this fictional character is very ugly. Um, let's see. This might have Pursuit. There's a chance. Yes! Oh, no! Don't kill me! Okay, great. <laughs> uh, okay. Togepi's just getting, just getting some good action. Um, that was hilarious. <laughs> Um, I just got an ESPN notification. I don't know if any of you watch sports or care about sports at all. Um, I like Cleveland sports teams. Um, unfortunately, the football team, the Browns, are cursed until further notice, and they are miserable, and I hate watching them. Um, but the baseball team, the Guardians, uh, they're doing pretty well. And they just made the playoffs, but they don't have to play in the first round because they had a good season. So I'm excited about that. So here is Gliger. We were just talking about Gliscor. Um, Gliger gets an evolution in this game. There were a lot of Generation 2. Does he also have Pursuit? Did I make this mistake again? Um, I mean, we're going to find out. Okay, good. <laughs> um, there were a lot of... Generation 2 Pokemon specifically that got evolutions. Um, just because there were a lot of one-form Pokemon that just weren't that strong. Gligar's one, Murkrow. Um, Giraffe Rig doesn't get an evolution in this generation, but it was also another one of those just kind of like weird one-formers. Um, Alright, so we're just going to have to speed our way through this if he's going to use hard in a bunch. There we go. Alright, Luxio. That is horrible for inclusion. Yeah, we'll split it with breakfast. Split it with breakfast. Yeah, I don't think Luxio learns Pursuit. Um, let's see. Can I... I say, don't paralyze me, please. Yeah, so really, as we go, I'm going to prioritize. Um, getting levels into autumn and breakfast. Um, but, you know, I'll still keep, definitely keep Staravia around, keep Skitter around. Um, they'll be good for our next gen. Quite useful, actually, in a few cases. I would love for breakfast to get a good coverage move if we could learn it. Let's see, what TMs do we have? Um, I have four Paralyzed Heals. Let's just use one on Autumn. That's perfect. Um, TMs. We have some fun stuff. Um, I don't really know. Ah, Return. Return could be great on our potential Togekiss. Hmm. I'll think about it. It is part normal. And return is that beautiful normal type. So we'll have to have a see, have a look see. Um, alright. 
Yeah, in the chat or in the comments if you watch this later. Let me know if I should teach my Togepi uh, return. Alright. This might be a lot of switching back and forth. There we go, baby. Yes. A lot of switch training. Breakfast is going to have some good defensive EVs, huh? Perfect. This one's a little tedious. All right. Onyx should get us to 15. Absolutely. There we go. See you later, Onyx. Wouldn't want to be you. Mmm. Yawn is great. Um, we're going to get rid of Growl because Growl is just worse charm. Um, Yawn could really come in handy in the gym leader fight. So, uh, breakfast might be of use yet in the next gym leader fight that we have. Alright. A revive. Very worth it. Again, I would love to pick up our first vitamin here if we could. Let's just save here. I always be saving. As you know, I have anxiety. Ah, I'll show you something after this battle. Um, I think this is the first spot that we've seen where it's applicable. Excuse me. Ah, and that Intimidate will continue to come in handy. Love it. Uh, interesting that he used Focus Energy and then used a move that can literally not get a critical hit because it only always does a set amount of damage. Very interesting choice, Machop. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's anybody here that has not heard my perfect chicken noise, but Brody just uh, redeemed some points to hear my perfect chicken noise. Um, so, all right. Ready or not, here we go. <clears throat> Perfect chicken noise. Don't worry, that can only be redeemed once per stream, so you won't be hearing my chicken noise in your ears all day long. Or all evening long. Not night, according to this game. Um, we will get... We'll do Gas Man. I don't know if... Uh, it might have confusion, actually. I might, I might have made a grave error, actually. Time will tell. Or I made the best play ever. We'll see. Alright, hits the double detect. That leads me to believe it does not have a move to hit Ghastly. It's only using Mind Reader and Detect. It's hilarious. There we go. So it was the right play after all. lovely. Alright, so here, if you look to the right of me, on this ledge that we can't get up to, there are these weird little marks on the mountain, and those are spots where you can use a new HM introduced in Generation 4 called Rock Climb, and it will help you get those two items that are hanging out right there. Um, we will not be able to get those yet, that is an entrance to Mount Coronet that we cannot go through quite yet. But this one is, so we will go through there very soon. Oh, here is Dawn. This is what I was waiting for. So Dawn comes to say hi. She's like, how's your Pokedex? Hey, what's up? I'm not a good trainer, but hey, good for you. Um, and oh yes, yeah, she makes us choose a hand. Let's pick the right hand. 
Ah, yes. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what hand you pick. Um, she gives us the versus seeker. Um, and using that, you can find trainers that want a rematch. So if you walk up to like a group of trainers that you've fought already, you can use the versus seeker and um, one or a few of them might want to give you a rematch, which is a great way to get some extra experience. Um, and she also gives us the dowsing machine, which is great. It is like an item finder app and it lets us find items on the ground that we can't see. So this is really great. I'll show you how this works. So how the dowsing machine works is if you go down to your little poke etch here, let me scroll to it. This is the dowsing machine and it's like a grid on your screen. So if you click down here, you have this little radar thing that tells you where an item is. You see that little circle that's uh, blipping right there, right behind me? If I just go there, there is a hidden great ball in the dirt. Um, it is very useful. There are a lot of uh, little spots where you can use the dowsing machine and uh, you'll find me using it a lot throughout our playthrough. Um, and there are some spots where I definitely remember that there's an item. And I knew there would be one there because they're just like, hey, they give you the dowsing machine. You can see down there, there is a secret item where... Ah, yes, it's actually up on that ledge. Let me go get it. Let me just make sure. Oops. All right, let's do this. Or it should be up on this ledge. Yes. So now... If I look here, it's going to be two to the left and one up. There's a rare candy! Heck yeah, baby! That is wonderful. Okay. Glad we went on that little detour. Um, Alright, let's heal the squad before we move along. Okay, let's get back to where we were. All right, so here, let's give it a save. You might've heard my wife laugh just there. She's watching something in the other room. Cause she's gotta find something to do when I just abandon her for an hour to be with you guys. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, oh, no, we'll keep it on the dowsing machine. Um, okay. So, ooh, what do I think rare candies taste like? Um, oh, there's a, uh, what should we call it? A hidden, uh, hidden item? Oh, let me get Togepi out from the front. Because I want to see what's in this part of Mount Coronet. As you can tell, it's a little different. There are these water patches here. Um, a rare candy. What does a rare candy taste like? Um, I envision something like a like those ch circle chocolate truffles, like the Lint Lindor truffle, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, like, uh, you see how it's just kind of like a circle and a wrapper? I think of those. Um, I'm sure you've seen commercials for those before. So I officially think a rare candy tastes like a Lint Lindor truffle. Chocolate truffle. Um, but uh, that was a Zubat, and that was annoying, so I am actually going to use a Repel. I lied immediately. I immediately regretted my decision. Because we still haven't seen my friend Chingling. And we got some uh, hidden items here. But we are about to have... Uh... Oh, you see Blue and Think Vanilla. Actually, that's not a bad, that's not a bad call. I agree. We're about to have a run-in with this guy again, the blue-haired mystery man. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Wow. Bye. That was just some really heavy, uh, heavy stuff to lay on us for, and then just to just walk away. That was crazy. Ah, a blue raspberry hard candy. 
Um, this kind of reminds me of the scene from Talladega Nights. I don't know if any of you are old enough for that movie. Um, some of you are, I'm sure. It's like how they like to picture Jesus. I like to picture Jesus wearing a tuxedo t-shirt. Uh, John C. Riley is wonderful. Yeah, Cyrus, I think Cyrus is canonically 27 years old. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we know his name at this point yet, so that's fine. Um, most of my audience has played this game before. I just like to have fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Um, my phone's giving me all, all these updates here. Let's see. So we have more trainers to work through. As you can see, there's another little rock climb spot. We can fight that hiker, get that item, but not yet. Oh, now we want to get breakfast back in the front. Perfect. And again, uh, all this unnecessary walking that we're going to do is going to be great um, for getting friendship points with our Soothe Bell. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I say things in these games. It's like I'll say things to my wife, and I'm just like, I gotta get friendship points with my Soothe Bell. And uh, it really does sound ridiculous, but we love it all the same. I was about to say, that should still do it. And it's like, Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf is Autumn's most powerful attack at this point, but sometimes you just kind of got to consider when a Pokemon is going to be uh, good defensively other than, rather than special defense. Um, alright. Oh, we got another fella over here that wants to get Switch trained on. Doo -doo. This karate man is going to pulverize you. I sure hope not. Could you imagine? He just takes our little baby Togepi and just like smashes its face into the dirt. But we won't let that happen, little guy. Um, oh, he probably can't hit Gas Man. Unless he has Foresight. He might, though. There it is. As you can see, Foresight allows a fighting Pokemon... Oh, gets me by one HP. Um, <laughs> scrambled eggs indeed. Um, Foresight allows a fighting Pokemon to hit a ghost type. Um, it can be very useful in that way. And it was the undoing of our friend Gas Man. But that's alright. Inclusion comes and cleans up the mess. We got pulverized. That's right, homie. Alright, so... What I'm feeling here is we should be able to make our way to the next city. Um, and then we can double back to get our friend Rotom. Excuse me. All these hikers is great food for Grotal. Let's see, is there an item down here? Nose pass once again. And again, really happy that I'm not really worrying about Togepi missing any moves by leveling up too quickly. Um, because that can totally happen. Let's see. Rock smash. Ether. Perfect. Um, alright, I will pop a repel here, because this could be annoying. Oh, I feel like there's gotta be something in this grass that I'm not seeing. Oh wow. Ah, I forgot I had Togepi in the front. That's okay. Still run from Voodoo. I think there's a secret item right there. Ah, right here. That one's a bit more obvious. 
Got a tiny mushroom. I think this guy is just hiding. Don't say a word, just take it. Ooh, this guy gives us the odd keystone. The odd keystone is a very interesting item in this game, and it is how you obtain the very rare Pokemon called Spiritomb, which uh, we may or may not be doing in this game. Probably not, it's very hard, and I don't think we have the capabilities to do it the way we're playing this game. And he's just like hiding here, it's just like, Ooh, so he tells you how to do it. He says, go to Route 209, go underground, listen to the stone pillar, talk to people underground. Very interesting. Um, all right. So let's fight this fool. You and I, let us create a scene. I think this is a painter, if I'm not mistaken, or an artist. Artist William. Hmm. Here we have Mime Jr. Oh, this is a baby Pokemon introduced in this game. It is, of course, the baby Pokemon for Mr. Mime, and it is really cute and a really good idea, honestly. I really enjoy Mime Jr. Like, uh, just giving it its own little, like, suffix, how Mr. Mime has a prefix. Oh, it's really, really great. Um, really clever idea. I like Mime Jr. a lot. They would do other stuff with Mr. Mime later that uh, we don't like as much, but this was a great idea. All right. Ah, yes, and his other Pokemon is Bonsly. We're gonna get breakfast back in the action once again. Bonsly! This is a baby Pokemon for Pseudo Wudo that they introduced in Generation 4. It is also very cute, um, and uh, just a really good idea overall. I feel like these two might be, I talked about uh, Generation 4 uh, evolutions that they give out, but uh, these two baby Pokemon that they introduce are two of my faves as well. Ooh, a crit. Ah. Oh wow, and the one HP flail. There we go. Perfect, are you a trainer? You are! Ah, uh, Aroma Lady Hannah. Oh, um, okay, I'll have to be on the lookout for her next Pokemon. She just did something that we haven't really seen. She has like a seal on her Pokeball to make it so that like, when her Pokemon came out, there were like roses. Uh, let's see if she does it with her other Pokemon. I think maybe Gardenia has used one too, but I'll have to I'll have to look. After we defeat this Roselia here, let's okay. Let's see if she has another one of those. Alright. Combi! Again, a new Pokemon we have not seen. Um we're seeing a lot of new stuff here. It's exciting. Uh, so let's do this. Alright. Oh, no, that one wasn't fancy. Oh, I missed, I messed it up. Sorry. Um, so here is Combi. Combi is a little bee Pokemon. You can find Combi via the honey trees that we have talked about. Um, but most of them are going to be male. And the only ones that can evolve are actually female. So the female Combi is the one that you want, but they are a lot more rare. And that's another really cool thing. I love it. But they are a bug flying type and not too terribly scary. Maybe I should have kept Bide instead of Swift. Swift is just... It was nothing for us. A big fat nothing burger. And our friend Breakfast is starting to catch up in levels. Um, let's pick these berries. All right, so we can do a couple more things here. All right, I'm excited actually. Uh, what is this? Oh, uh, the Berry Master's House. Free berries available. You had me at free. Had me at free. <laughs> I said that weird. Um, 
Ah, oh, hand out berries daily. Thanks for the wiki berry, sir. Appreciate you. Berries are gifts of nature. Ah, oh, how sweet. I love that. Go that guy. All right. So now we are about to pop in. Ooh, there's my repel. To Heart Home City or Hearth Home City. I don't really know how you say it. I've always said Heart Home City. Um, and we are going to have our little run in with this Baneri. And this lady is just like, oh, thanks for stopping our Baneri. Um, she's Kira. She's a Pokemon contest judge. There is a contest hall here in Pokemon Platinum in Heart Home City. I don't ever usually do contests, but uh, I'm sure there are other people that do. Let's see. Ah, the Poffin House. So Poffins are a lot like um, Pokeblocks in Generation 3, but in this game, instead of making Pokeblocks, you make Poffins, and Poffins are just kind of like these little cookie cake things that you can use berries to make for your Pokemon. They do uh, very similar things. Um, all right. Breakfast out on the contest stage. <laughs> that would be delightful. All right, so there are a few more things that I want to accomplish tonight. Let's buy, oops, sure, we'll buy a couple Pokeballs. Buy a couple Supers, I always like to have enough Supers. Okay, more Repels as well. Ah, uh, mindlessly mixing Poffins. Oh yes, uh, Poffins are a really cool little thing um, with the bottom touch screen on the DS. Um, they make the mini game much more interactive in that way. Um, we'll make a Poffin at some point. We probably won't, we won't do it tonight because we gotta go catch Rotom, but I'll show you what making a Poffin looks like. Uh, let's see. Oops, I wanted to do something in here. We are actually going to deposit our friend Gas Man. Because Gas Man has been great, but we have another something else on our mind. Now, unless I'm mistaken about this too, if we hop over here next to the Pokemon Center, we can talk to this lady. Um, and we use the Pokemon boxes, which she loves because she is the kind of creator of the Pokemon boxes. In Generation 1 and 2, we had Bill. In Generation 3, we had Lynette, who I just realized we didn't talk to in Emerald. Oopsie. And here, we have Bebe in Heart Home City. And uh, we use the PC, PC boxes, which she's super stoked about. So she's just like, oh, here's an Eevee! So, uh, Bebe gives us an Eevee, which is amazing. And we would like to give a nickname to Eevee. Um, ah, uh, this name depends on what you're gonna involve it into. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it up to the rest of the chat. Brody, you've got some names in. You got Breakfast and you got Autumn. If anyone else in the chat wants to give Eevee a nickname, speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, because you might not... You might be surprised by what we're going to evolve Eevee into. Eevee's gonna be on the squad, by the way. Eevee has made the squad. Um, so if we, if anybody else has a name, give it up. Or just uh, come up with a, I guess, a, an Eeveelution agnostic nickname. Because I don't want to spoil which one we're going to evolve it into. And again, you're probably not going to guess. If not, I will just name Eevee whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I really wanted to use um, Eevee in this playthrough for whatever reason. Um, just because I wanted to show that you just get a gift one here in Heart Home City in this game. I know I did the same thing in Yellow, but uh, I'm the one playing the game. <laughs> and I want to use it. Um, let's see, you think it will be Ice? I don't know, Brody. I don't know. I don't know. I have to wait and see. All right, I'm gonna name Evie something. Um, Evie shall henceforth be known as. Hmm. What 
am I going to name this Eevee? Pikachu. <laughs> I love it. This is going to make no sense. And I love it. I love it. Thank you, Cry. All right. Um, okay. So we have made it to Hard Home City and we have gotten our new friend Eevee at level 20, uh, no less. <laughs> Pikachu the Eevee. I love that. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Powers up moves of the same type. Don't they already get that? Um, all right. We will explore Heart Home City more next time. Um, let's see. What every mom thinks the name of any Pokemon is. <laughs> you make a good point there. Um, all right. So we are going to pop a repel here. And we are going to make our way back to our friend Rotom that is finally going to make his presence known. Finally grace us with his presence. Um, let's get off the bike. I'll turn that off so we don't go crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, that's fine. Ah, oh, there we go. I made it. So now we gotta hop on our bike again. Ah, oh, yeah. A pretty quick jaunt. All things considered. Uh, I guess it is 7.54. So I do have to burn six minutes somehow. Um... Let's see, how do we want to burn six minutes? I know. We'll look for a Chingling. Because <laughs> I wanted to show you guys Chingling, because I love Chimeco so much, as you know. Um, let's find one. It would be funner, funnier if I evolve it into Jolteon, but we don't know what I'm going to do yet. We don't know what I'm going to do. No Metatite. I'm actually not sure if you can find Chingling at night. Someone fact check me on that. You can find Bronzors. You can find Metatites. You can find... Ah, there he is! Here is Chingling! Ah, Chingling is the pre-evolution of Chimeco. Um, it is very cute. I don't love it that much, but I love Chimeco with all my heart. So Chingling uh, scores points in my book as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's catch it, just for gigs. Um, will I kill it? Let's do a quick attack. All right. Rap, that's not going to be doing anything to us. Ah, uh, yes, with a growl, quick attack will be fine. All right. Ah! Wow. This, yeah, you're right. This evolutionary... I knew that was going to be a crit, and I knew I was going to kill it. All right, now I'm going to catch a Chingling out of spite. Um, this is the baby of Chimeco, it's true. And it really didn't want to be caught. All right, let's do a spark. Don't kill it. Okay, great. There we go. We'll be good now. I have to buy a couple more Pokeballs. Baby Bell can do. Oh, my back. I'm getting old, kids. Just because I love the children's video games does not mean I'm not getting old. All right, we got Baby Bell, the Chingling. And again, we're not using Chingling. I think it's another, um, it's another friendship evolution, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Baby Bell. I just wanted to catch one because I love Chimeco. Just an honorary catch. All right. 
All right, well that burned three minutes. <laughs> uh, it does kind of look like the baby bell cheese. You're right, it's kind of a double meaning there. I love it, Brody. I support it. I support it all the way. Excuse me. All right, let's heal. And we'll buy ourselves a couple of a couple more Pokeballs to take on our Rot Rotom hunt. And it'll be good that we have a little bit of a longer stream tonight. Um, there we go. Because I won't be with you for a while. Oopsie. Yeah, some of these buttons are just a little bit different on the DS than I'm used to. Give Togepi some friendship. Friendship steps while we're waiting. Um, but thank you for being here with me tonight, folks. I really appreciate it. It's it's, it's always interesting to stream two days in a row. Um, but it feels a lot different, this one being at night after a, after a day of work. Um, so let's go over here. Um, I do not have a controller. I literally just use the keyboard for this. Um, when we, when it comes time, um, for us to play some other games that I have planned, I'll probably have to come up with something different. Um, but for some of these, um, earlier Pokemon games, I do just fine with my keyboard. Um, <laughs> it does feel like a Reggie puzzle to get this thing. Uh, I like that name. Alright, let's finally save, maybe. There we go. My goodness. Oh. Enjoy this music. Mmm. Perfection. Alrighty, let's... Who's going to be our lead here? Breakfast could be good because we could get a... Um, a sleep? Alright, so Pikachu literally can't hit it. Um, but let's do this for now. Alright, it is officially 8 o'clock. We're going in! Alright. The stage is set. Hopefully. I'm going to save right here. All right. So now, now that it is officially nighttime, we see, <laughs> once again, that the TV is flickering. What's on the TV? Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears as if it will come out. Want to thump the TV? Uh, yeah. Mm. So here's Rotom. Um, it's really cool. Rotom isn't a legendary Pokemon, but because you could only find it like in the post game of Diamond and Pearl and it gets this awesome legendary Pokemon music when you battle it, many, many people thought it was a legendary Pokemon when it was first introduced. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Let's do an Absorb. That should be fine. And again, it comes at level 20. Um, which is a perfect, um, okay, um, which is a perfect level at this point in the playthrough. Sorry. Oh, it's going to start double teaming. All right. Perfect. All right. So we should be sitting pretty. Let's try. Let's try one. I love Rotom. Um, Rotom actually has a lot of different forms okay, um, that you can use. I don't think... You can't really use it in a playthrough. It's not really until the post-game that you get access to those. 
Um, but of course, nowadays in um, Pokemon games, the Rotom is like your Pokedex and like your map. Rotom's like in everything, um, which is really cool. It's kind of become like the electronic possessing Pokemon. That's kind of its deal, which is why you find it in the TV here. Um, let's see. We should be we should be getting something going here before too long. All right, I'm gonna see if I can put it to sleep. Um, let's go into Gilbert. I'll just kind of let him get knocked out. There we go. Yes, we can get a clean switch into breakfast. Let's see if we can get a yawn. We should eat this. Not great, but we get the yawn off. Perfect. So then, once Rotom falls asleep, we should be we should be sitting pretty. I'll, I'll chuck a great ball. There we go. Finally asleep. Let's get this going. We should be able to catch this bad boy now. Hopefully. Oh my goodness, come on. I guess it is gonna have a higher catch rate at this point in the game. There we go. Rotom was caught. Or Rotom, I always said Rotom, but. It's electric like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief. Um, and I do like your suggestion, Brody. We'll go with Reggie. Reggie, the Rotom. Perfect. Finally, it is done. <laughs> Folks, thanks for being here with me tonight. Um, I really love this. Um, the Rotom thing has been a delightful little meme. <laughs> um, I will be excited to see you when I next see you. Um, obviously, I'll have this up on YouTube. I'll keep sharing shorts when I can. Um, and I will be back with you in about a week's time-ish. Um, excuse me. Thank you for your patience and thank you for being with me, as always, on this journey and many more to follow. So with that, have a great week. Um, I will see you when I see you. Thank you, Cry, and peace out, kids. <laughs>